very interesting setup from XRB to the moon. Is this the answer to sinking the pirate ship? I don't know. We're going to find <laughs> out as both teams charge in against each other. Slopsy's looking for some early damage. Waz going to be moving in. Takes a little while for the Outlaw Rogue to build up damage, but Waz usually gets these setups rolling pretty fast. Right, I'm curious to see if Z-Pi just runs at Chaz. Red Paladin actually does a lot of damage to Discipline Priest since it's mostly holy damage and not physical. Right now they're just focusing on defense, but Walrix is just taking so much damage from both Waz and Swaps. He's been at 50% HP for quite some time. We saw a Blessing of Protection there to remove the blind, but now Looney is caught into a stun and Walrix got interrupted. He can't unending resolve. He's dipping dangerously low. He's managing to hold on to it for now. Waz grappling hook over for a gouge trying to keep Looney locked in crowd control and deny healing but now Looney is free they make a swap to Z-Pi half his HP is gone Swapsy is just raining down damage onto the entire battlefield Z-Pi has got crusade rolling I think he would love to make a swap to Chaz very shortly yeah we normally see this Chaz and Swapsy they kind of stick together just put out as much pressure as possible with the Discipline Priest, with the Elemental Shaman on any target they can. Meanwhile, Waz can send a sit in midfield, do a lot of setups with the gouges, with the between the eye stuns, with the blind, and then eventually they find those windows of opportunity where they can sort of push N all in, but Waz is going to be empowering Swapsy's damage so much with that Tricks of the Trade buff. I really think z chasing Swapsy could maybe be a mistake at the end of this game. He's spending so much time just walking to a target instead of actually hitting it. The Priest is not going to move very fast, so I feel like a target swap would be good. But now he's overextended and got caught by Waz. Immediate punish with the double stun. Tons of damage. Defensive fears to try and hold the Divine Shield, but it's not enough. z overextending. Waz immediately capitalized on that mistake, and they're going to bank a major defensive cooldown as a result. Yeah, that was the plunder armor used by Waz there to get the bubble from z -Pi. So not the worst trade, but the problem with the Retribution Paladin is he is a very susceptible target here for Swapsy, Waz, and Chaz. So uh, although it might be good defensively, uh, it just it seems so scary when he pushes in. They can make these consistent swaps with the tricks of the trade. z -Pi getting lower and lower. Stun on Looney, and they ultimately take him down with a huge Earthshock crit. And that's what happens. Once z -Pi's in there, he's very exposed, very vulnerable as a target. Some heals, and this is one of those moments here. Waz grappling hooks right in there. And you can see Looney is not really even caught in crowd control just yet. Gives Waz enough time to reset his stun. Goes for the stun onto z -Pi, And then swaps he following that up with the Earth. They need to get off of those comps and pick up a setup-based comp. Something like Jungle, something like RMP has a very easy time dismantling this uh, outlaw Ellie. Problem is... They would have to pick up three new classes and learn a setup based comp. It's too tall of a mountain to climb. So. Well, let's see if the Windwalker DK is going to be enough to climb that mountain, enough to tie up the series, or if Method Black will find themselves on match point. I just want three Smork icons to appear over the frames on the right side of the screen. If they don't run at Chaz, I feel like that's the biggest mistake they could make. Yeah, Waz uh, looking for an opener here. You can see z slowly moving in. Swaps is going to try to delay that opener as much as possible. Blizzo into the cheap shot. Paralysis on Waz as they run in onto Chaz. We need to see the offensive purchase coming in from Looney if they want to get this damage in. Fist of Fear is done on Chaz. He's not responding with anything just yet. There's the Archangel. There's the Rapture. But it looks like that's enough to keep him alive. Looney not triggering out of the blind. He doesn't see Plunder used. He doesn't want to get swapped to. But z had to burn a lot of cooldowns to stall this non-trinket on blind out. Now Waz is trying to just capitalize on that. Maybe even look for a swap at the end of that crowd control and put Looney even more behind. I don't think Looney can afford to sit all this crowd control. They need the purges and he's just going to die. There's just so much damage coming up. Pretty much what Ben already alluded to. I mean, here Chaz has Archangel Rapture, and instead of being on 20%, uh, he's just at full HP because Looney can't purge him. And then here, double fair, swap to Looney, still doesn't use his trinket. Plunder is active right now, by the way. And then instead they use anti-magic zone. Uh, even here, if he trinkets that stun and they save the zone, that would still not be, like, a, a really terrible situation to be in. They did for that Black can set themselves up to go to that grand final and set XRB up to lose their lifeline and need to play in a tiebreaker. Yeah, Looney's gonna be, oh, okay, he actually changed. I was gonna say, he's playing Relentless and I think it's a horrible decision. He goes to the Trinket, uh, I think that's very smart. Blizzo using Ride the Wind to get to target, but z wasn't in it. He's trying to make his way over. Nice anti-magic shield as well, but Looney's on the other side of the map in a route. Looney needs to get over there and start purging. He looks for a hex on Swapsy. Good crowd control. Swapsy triggers that. He knows that they're going to all in. He needs to support Chaz. This time around, Looney's right on top of Chaz. I'm curious to see what does he do with the blind. He's sitting in it again. I I don't agree with this. I mean, he's gonna get away with it. This time they trade out zone on z -Pi. Looney is still sitting in crowd control, he can't purge. Chaz is basically sitting there like, thank goodness he didn't drink it, because these powered shields would just be stripped off. Now Chaz is trying to kite across the map. 
It's likely that he trinkets. Looney sat through all that crowd control. Now he needs to get aggressive. He used his trinket. They need to start getting the purges rolling. Looney's going to jump in. Finally, some aggression. Yeah, the thing is, Chaz didn't have to use his Rapture in that opener. So he didn't use his trinket in the opener. He didn't use his Rapture in the opener. And now, because Looney sat the blind once again, Chaz is going to be completely fine. And it seems like XRB to the moon is just way behind on this healer race. And Waz still has plunder. He can make a swap at any second to Looney or just kill Zipai. They've overcommitted defensives, but I think in the incorrect order. And it seems like aggressively they're falling more behind. There's the swap. There's the double fear. Looney could easily disappear, but a paralysis on Waz denies the follow up. He can switch Earthshield to get Astral Shift up. Looney survives the swap. Now they've got to start pushing down on the gas pedal. Looney needs to start getting aggressive on Chaz. They've got him in the middle of the map. They can purge him. Looney's right there, just waiting, trying to get through the interrupts. Gets gouged as well. Stormkeeper. Now they swap over to Zipa. He's locked down in a stun. Not able to use the anti magic shield. They managed to finally get Chaz's second trinket. There's a big opening to kill Chaz. Looney's team just needs to keep this going. I'd love to see a preemptive spirit link moving just a little bit forward into this match. Yeah, Zipa and Blizzo finally having a lot of uptime on Chaz, though. He's forced into the paint suppression. No defensive left. Looney in a lot of trouble, though. Caught into the stun. Do they have the damage to take him down? Yes, they do. Method Black playing that game phenomenally defensively, finding these opportunities onto Looney as well, and ultimately.